when it comes to safety measures, it's not surprising that face masks, signage, hand sanitizer, and regular sanitation of workplaces uh, were all deemed important by a majority of respondents. Um, filtration and HVAC systems also scored highly. David, I want to come right back to you here. So much has been learned about the virus in the in the past six months. Did these results prove that workers uh, are indeed ready for this type of new normal? I, I think the words new normal need to be reflected on. Like, what does that really mean? And I'm just going to give you two possible interpretations. It might mean that the new normal is that workers are going to have a different kind of environment at work. Uh, we're going to have different safety procedures. Uh, we're going to have staggered work. We're going to have different things occurring. And the employee and management need to operate within this new normal of more remote and accepted and know how to lead that way and engage people. But there is another interpretation of new normal, which is a bit disturbing. And that's the new normal of saying, we're not really going to change much in the work environment. We're going to meet minimum standards so we don't go uh, and be outside a code on safety, but it's going to be minimum standards. And the new normal is employees get used to working in an environment that's less safe. And the new normal is work is dangerous. You know, you used to go to the office and it was safe. Now you go to the office and it's dangerous. You want a job, do it. Uh, so it, it, if that's what is the new normal, then I think we have a very disturbing situation where I, I, I believe it'll be very challenging in the work environment. Uh, I certainly would love it to see the first version where new normal means there's collaboration going on between the leaders of organizations and employees so that it is very different and everybody has to modify their behavior. Uh, and I believe that people are, you know, they're, they're resilient. They showed it during the pandemic. I think employees and management were doing things in two weeks that we thought would take three years. Uh, it's been remarkable. And I believe coming back to work will be the same, but everybody has to do their part. I do agree with uh, David. I do believe people are resilient. I do think that there is good demonstration that people have adapted and are willing to adapt to these new ways of working. I just um, am concerned about people's um, ability to kind of have the capacity to continue to adapt in all walks of their life in terms of, you know, if they have children, the whole school system and the stress that comes with that, even going to a grocery store, you're always in critical thinking, you're always sitting there and having to monitor your environment and what do I need to do different and how do I do it and when do I do it and, and those kind of pieces. And so it, it speaks to something that Jose talked about earlier around mental health. And so I, I think that people have um, inherent ability and, and intent to do this. I'm just concerned that as an as a society and as a group of people, now we're expecting everyone to come back to work and work in a new way. Um, and that takes a lot of energy and effort. And do they have the capacity? They have the will. They might not just have the capacity sometimes to do it. You know, outside of here's some hand sanitizer and a mask, may the force be with you. <laughs> you gotta look a lot deeper th than that. And 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 certainly it it's it, one of the things I brought up earlier was mental health and well-being as well, too, because there's an incredible amount of stress in your personal life. There's incredible stress just doing your day-to-day -day activities, and now your work environment is completely changing. Is this the new normal? It's gonna, it's changing. I, our, our businesses are transforming. I, I'm hoping for that day where we're going to find that, vac that magic vaccine that's going to solve some of this, but even then, I, I, I do believe that the work environment overall is going to change because we've actually been exposed to new ways of working. In some cases, they, they, they've become more popular. Um, in some cases, they haven't. I, I, there are people who work, um, who are working more remotely that feel isolated, you know, because they're not actually working with their work colleagues. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking about Kimberly's comments regarding people wanting to come back to the office because their work colleagues are there. But you know, how do you do that and how do you do it effectively? So the new normal is, is going to be interesting. Um, an organization has to provide that type of leadership and some guidance as well too, and just taking into account the needs of employees as they return to work. <laughs>